Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 55, Hollow World, by Michael J. Sullivan. This story was so much more than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be great and enjoyable because I like the author's writing, but this book has so much more in it than a good tale. It makes you think a lot. It deals with a ton of huge concepts and ideas, but not in a heavy-handed way. You discover things with the protagonist, and it comes off so well in the story. As Ellis Rogers, the main character, is discovering things and rethinking his worldview, you find yourself as a reader contemplating the same issues as well. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I'll just say that this is a time travel novel, and the society that Ellis discovers in the future is an amazing place to visit but also something that really makes you think about a ton of issues. Okay, so the book makes you think, but it's also really fun, has characters you will love and love to hate, and fantastic settings. I really enjoyed my visit to Hollow World, and you will too. The people you'll meet and the places you'll visit you won't soon forget, and you'll think back on fondly when you finish the story. I found myself rooting for the main character and enjoying his journey. He was written really well. Very believable motivations, very fleshed out and real. I feel as if I've met him. A certain person of the future, the one on the book cover, is my favorite character, though. His name is Pax and he is awesome. You'll see what I mean when you read or listen to the story. The audiobook is how I read this, by the way, and the narrator, Jonathan Davis, did a fantastic job. I've heard him read a few Star Wars novels, and so I knew I was in good hands, but he really made this story shine. I especially loved the way he voiced the antagonist of the story. There's so much more I could say about this book, like the fact that it also made me laugh a lot, but I don't want to spoil anything. I have no problem calling this novel an instant classic, and I think that anyone who's a fan of science fiction would agree. To sum it up, great characters, cool setting, thought-provoking issues brought up by a difference in the society of the future our protagonist discovers. Five stars all the way, baby. Awesome. Yeah, well, I have great news for you guys, as I mentioned. I read this book by listening to the audiobook. And if you've ever listened to a Star Wars novel, you've probably run across the great narrator Jonathan Davis. I think he's pretty well known for uh, narrating science fiction novels. And he was a great pick for this one. But the good news is, you, the listeners of this podcast, can go get a free copy of any audiobook of your choice. But I'm going to recommend Hollow World by Michael Sullivan. You can get it for free by going to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. That's audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews for your free copy of any audiobook of your choice, but I'm telling you, Hollow World is a great pick. And you get a free 30-day trial of Audible's awesome membership. I'm a member myself, I have a lot of commuting, and I love listening to audiobooks. It's pretty much how I get all my reading done. So I'm a huge fan of Audible, and if you go and sign up for a free trial and get a free audiobook, you are helping support this show. So thank you, And thanks, Audible. Now, let's get back to that review. Man, Hollow World. That was awesome. 
If you've ever heard of Michael J. Sullivan, you probably know him for the awesome epic fantasy adventures uh, with his really cool main characters Royce and Hadrian called the Rhaeira Revelations, or I guess it's called Theft of Swords. Uh, well, that's the first one anyway. Just really fun romp, uh, epic fantasy that's really enjoyable. And uh, But this was the first science fiction novel that I don't know if he's ever written, but that I have ever read by him. Um, he pulled it off great. The story takes place kind of at first in like the modern world, so so much different than a fantasy world. And it was just really rich and believable. And, uh, Michael J. Sullivan uh, did a great job of pulling you into the story, and then, man, it gets interesting from there. The character figures out how to make a time machine, and uh, well, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but he travels to the future, and <laughs> it is ridiculously interesting. It's not at all what I was expecting. Um, it's just so... I don't know, the story is so specific to the character's journey, and uh, I don't even know how I'm trying to say this, but it wasn't like some huge epic story about the future. It was a very awesome personal story about the main character's experience traveling to the future and how it affected him, and you kind of see it all through his eyes, and uh, the future that Michael J. Sullivan wrote was very interesting. Anyway, this is the first episode I've recorded and published in the year of 2017, so Happy New Year. Hope you guys have a lot of awesome books lined up to read this year. I know I do. My oldest son is eight, and he just started reading the Harry Potter series. I got him the first book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, for Christmas. And that book has transformed him into a lover of reading and books, and I'm so excited. He finished it real quickly, and he's already on the second one, and I just ordered the third one on Amazon for him, so it's super fun talking about the books with him. I can't wait to uh, see him grow as a reader and read through a bunch of books with him and talk about them. It'll be so fun. And he's, you know, the oldest, so my five-year-old wants to read books, even though he, he only has a few sight words, so he can't really read more than uh, early reader books, but he picks up chapter books and longer books and pretends like he's reading them or finds words on the page he knows. It's really cute. But it's cool that he's being encouraged to love books and want to know how to read. So he's always like grabbing books that he obviously can't read and pretending to read them. It's so cute. Anyway, hope you guys, uh, I, I don't know about you, but I'm sure glad 2016 is over. Looking forward to a great year. I read 51 books in 2016, and I'm hoping to read at least 50 books in 2017. Hopefully more. We'll see. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, happy New Year and happy reading. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at Incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.